Borobudur and Prambanan are the two most popular temples in Indonesia and most commonly preferred as most beautiful. On our visit a while ago, we didn't want to be limited to just enjoying the reliefs even though they're meticulously carved. So we ventured from dawn till approaching midnight to enjoy the awesomeness that Borobudur and Prambanan had to offer. Satumbu Hill is located in Magelang, Central Java, famous as the best spot to view sunrise with Borobudur Temple in sight. We do wanted a piece of the beauty. Unfortunately, it was cloudy, so no magical sunrise for us. But we did meet a lively, cheerful person, Pak Sandu, who sang a Japanese song that he learned in his childhood. And he was kind enough to lend me his sickle to play with. The day was getting brighter. It was time for us to see the temple up close. On our way to Borobudur Temple, we stopped by at Pak Wasidi's house. Welcome. He's what you can say the keeper of Setumbu Hill. They're so kind. They made us breakfast. Sama sayuran. Biasa. Ambil di nasi sendiri. This is the kind of kindness you can expect in villages. But it felt amazing because we didn't expect it. Despite declining would be considered rude and we were pretty damn hungry. And we left for Borobudur with happy bellies. The Borobudur Park Management provided horse carts to get to the temple for a cost. Our guide waited for nothing to start the story on Borobudur. We really do recommend people having a pointed guide during the trip. The temple has a lot of stories, which better told on site. Sitting on about 8,200 meters square, Borobudur is the biggest Buddhist temple in the world built in the 9th century. It's got stupas and Buddha statues as well as reliefs that tell stories. The temple is actually covering the tip of a hill and not built as a full structure with inner foundations. Here, these, these are two different rocks. You see? Because one's really old and the other one's quite new. And I just asked the guy uh, what it was all about. And he says that every rock was made at different times. So it could be a matter of which was built first and which was built last and then put all together. It's not about a story about the Buddha. It's only about like pictures that has that teaches some moral value of for humankind. As it is super old, Borobudur is going through restoration after restoration. A puzzle-like system is made to ensure they put the rocks back in the right place. Before our heads explode with so much interesting information on Borobudur and the heat that noon, we decided to take off and cool off at the hotel. And later that night, it was time for Ramayana Ballet at Prambanan Temple in Yogyakarta. Yep, that's the Prambanan Temple. It's not a backdrop, my friend. Ramayana is a Hindu epic influenced by the Indians, depicting the story of Sinta, Rama's wife, who was kidnapped by the evil giants, and later, Hanuman, the ape man, came to help rescue Sinta. Proving that she was untouched by the evil man, Sinta stepped into the fire. It's a principle we don't grasp much, but made interesting enough show for people across the world. The Ramayana Ballet is a regular show at Prambanan, and you can take a closer look at the details of makeup and costumes at photo session after the show, if you're interested. The Ramayana Ballet ended another day of our adventure, which this time we dedicated specifically to that around the magnificent temples. 
But of course, you need to head down there yourself to have an adventure and opinion of your own. We have a feeling that you won't regret it. So what do you think about these temples? Leave your comments below and for more information about it, you can also visit our site.